Hi, David Watts here with another quick video on Luminar version 1.20, the Neptune release. This is just a quick video on cleaning up, working with some old photos, uh, making some common sort of improvements uh, that you'll often want to make in your pictures. Here's one I took in Paris. It's uh, with an old uh, Canon XTI from 2009. Uh, quality won't be up to images we might take today, but it's a good reminder of how we can bring new life into old images, uh, especially when we work with raw images. So I always like to make sure uh, that color temperature is, is set and like to do that with the eyedropper. Looking for something here that's kind of a neutral gray. Maybe this qualifies. Let's see. And no big change. We were probably okay on white balance, but kind of like to check. You can always tweak it a little further here if you like. I always hit the, um, the accent, uh, the AI filter. Um, supposedly uses some AI to kind of analyze the image, make some improvements. Let's see what that particular filter does. It's off, back on. Yeah, I see some improvement in the skies. Uh, I see, it looks like some improvement kind of here in the trees and down here. So that part I've covered in some other videos. Um, I'll also add a little clarity typically. Maybe that's a bit too much, but this is judgment. The real thing I wanted to show is some basic cleanup. Um, there's some junk in this picture, some paper here, uh, some trash here and some things that snuck in the edge of the frame that I just don't care for. Let's see if we can clean them up. We'll use the tool on the far right, the erase tool. So it'll take you just a moment to kind of shift modes. By default, it's using uh, this kind of brush here. Here's our size control. I think that size is going to work out OK. And really what we do is just paint over that. Then come up here and click Erase. And if we're lucky, okay, not bad. At first, your eye will kind of see where it was. But after a second, you lose it. And if you lose it, people that look at your picture will never see any little artifacts, typically, that might be left. If we really get kind of aggressive, we say, I don't like that little spot. And by the way, I can do multiples of these. And let's say erase. Okay. Let's finally check up here, see if we can do something about these little items that snuck into our picture. We just sort of cover them, click Erase, give it just a second to work some magic, and actually, not bad. I think it works. So, uh, when you're all done, hit Apply. It'll uh, save all this out. It's actually created a new layer, so keep that in mind. If you want to go back to the original, it's right here. Here's all your adjustments. We did some color temperature adjustments. We did a little work with that accent AI filter, a little clarity. We didn't do anything saturation vibrance. Typically, I might do a little. How about that? Uh, if I still want to uh, work on the sky a little bit, and by the way, you might notice, oh, our, our junk is back. Well, remember, this is the original image. When we go back and look at our top layer, it's gone, and that's how it's going to save out, of course. Go back to our layer down here. Mike could do something with the, uh, yeah, we just brought down the highlights a bit. And, of course, that'll have some impact down here, too. But I, I, I like the uh, improvement on the sky. And let's go before and after with that filter. It's better. Okay. So, again, two layers, original image with those adjustments, plus the erase uh, the erase effect that we added to the image. And uh, hopefully it's obvious, but uh, when it comes time to save this, it's save. And I'm going to leave it right here. Uh, this is not original to me, but uh, I thought this was good advice I saw from someone else. Uh, within the folder, if you're working this way, uh, create a folder called Luminar. And in here, save uh, the the Luminar file with your image. I like to check save history because when I reload this then I can still back off the history uh, with undo. But anyway, save it. It'll be a big file but it's got all these changes and it. you can continue to work with it. Your raw file has not been touched. And then of course to export it as a JPEG, click export. Now you'll need to go back to your root folder where your images are, make an exports folder Again, not original me, but I like the approach. 
and here save your your file. Um, plenty of people say you don't have to be all the way up on full high, um, but so use your judgment. Compare the file sizes. You'll find files get bigger. Can you discern the quality? Probably not. But if you have tons of hard drive space, maybe it's worth keeping it all the way up. And save your JPEG. You're done. Hope this helps a bit. If you like what you see, click like. If you don't, let me know. Otherwise, subscribe. I'll try to make more. See you. Have a good day.